Hey everybody, Justin Siener here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to sell and deliver digital files on Shopify. It's incredibly powerful, something that every store can implement and we'll jump right into it. There's a lot of power in selling digital products and I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. It's a really great business model to sell digital products on Shopify. We're talking about things like digital files, music, courses, right, really anything that can be downloaded or accessed online, we could sell digitally on Shopify. And it's obviously great because there's no physical product inventory. We don't need to deal with warehousing or stock or anything like that. And there's very large, healthy profit margins. So a real popular strategy right now is to leverage Shopify to sell your digital products like digital files, music, courses, art, right? All these different things that you could sell and deliver. We're gonna integrate this into Shopify and. Use Shopify as the platform to handle everything from selling to delivering the actual digital product. And when you want to go ahead and implement the strategy, you might run into some pain points, like basically there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You're going to need to use an app. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this and which app to use. You need to find an app that is super easy to use as well. Right? You don't want to have to have any prior technological skill or be a coder or anything like that. The app must allow for automatic delivery and immediate access to the content customers have purchased. So not just accepting payment, but fulfilling and allowing for the download or the access of the product that they're purchasing automatically and immediately without you stepping in there. That's what we need Shopify to do. And we're going to do that by using the SkyPilot app. This is what I use. This is what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video. We're going to go over the shoulder and I'm going to show you how you'll be able to sell and deliver music, videos, any digital files, courses, ebooks, right? Instantly and without any limits, all inside of Shopify. It's incredibly powerful and SkyPilot is by far the best option when it comes to doing this. And I'm gonna bring over the app actually right over here. You see the link directly below this video for the SkyPilot app. This is inside of the Shopify store. You get a 14 day free trial, but it's gonna allow you to start using Shopify to not only sell, but like I said, deliver and fulfill any digital file, they say music videos, books, right? Digital courses is a popular one over here. And uh, this is about all, uh, you know, giving that instant access, immediate access and automatic access without you needing to go in there and copy and paste the link or, you know, give someone membership access or anything like that. It all happens entirely automated inside of Shopify. You can customize everything in terms of the branding and in terms of the deliverability of your products. And there's enterprise grade security as well. So you could limit downloads, you could have abuse alerts. You're gonna basically have full control over here and be able to protect your files without risking people you know, uh, uh, giving them away or letting them get out there without your control. So seamless delivery, storage of all the files as well, right? You're gonna be able to do everything right inside of Shopify. That's the whole benefit. We get to use the platform that we love with all of the other features and the great backend and the themes, right? But now we get to use it for digital downloads as well. So all you need to do is press the add app button over here. This is going to add SkyPilot into your Shopify store. We're going to go ahead and jump into the back end and I'm going to show you more. You're looking at the SkyPilot app and uh, you'll probably first get landed over here in the dashboard. You're not going to see anything when uh, you have a brand new app over here, but this eventually will track your digital deliveries of your digital products. You have a nice date range over here to visually see everything. But we're going to get started into products. And you already need to have your digital product created as a product in your Shopify store. So I have this product over here, Shopify t-shirt print on demand training program. It's set up just like any other product. It's got a price over here and I'm going to search for it over here inside of products inside uh, the sky pilot app. And the uh, reason that this is connected is because again, I installed the uh, Shopify app for sky pilot connected it to my store. So now I've selected this product, right? When we click inside, it basically says there's no digital content attached to this product. Well, what we obviously want to do is have people be able to purchase the product. And like I called out over here, because it's a big selling point, they're going to get immediate access as soon as they check out. They're going to be able to watch this. In this case, it's a video immediately. There's not going to be any uh, need to wait for access or get approved or added into a group. They're going to get it immediately. So obviously, if there are files or videos, we need to connect or upload them in here. And what we could do is actually upload video files over here. If you do use Vimeo, you could add some video accounts over here like Wistia or Sprout, but you know, most people using uh, Vimeo over here will be able to upload and connect accounts in, I'm sorry, connect videos inside their account. Big thing over here, marking the item as fulfilled, 
right? We can come over here and it could actually set up delays over here in the settings of the app. But we're gonna set this to be on here. This is good for triggering things like fulfilled emails and for other things like starting post-purchase email channels or um, post-purchase review emails, all those different things that you'd wanna do. Uh, notify all past purchasers. Typically don't need to do that unless you're making some big change to something or an update. But the main thing here is that we wanna come over here and upload our files. So we're gonna take our video and literally, or in this case, the training program, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload the file right here. So I'm uploading a file over here. We're gonna be able to have it down over here. You see that it never expires. This is uh, something that we can customize on an individual uh, basis here. But we wanna make it as easy as possible, again, for the customers. They'll literally be able to use everything from Shopify, you know, order confirmation, their account, all that stuff. The product, though, is gonna literally be this video file and we could add more files in here if we want to we can create as many products and uh, kind of videos and let's say powerpoints or pdf worksheets or really anything that's digital an mp3 file really whatever you want can be attached to this product and having this product now set up to mark as fulfilled we literally have the setup here to have a purchase of this product that we then create you know we first created here inside of Shopify to now, instead of have any physical, you know, shipping rule or anything like that, we'll have an automatic fulfillment of, in this case, this MP4 file to our customer. There's a little bit of customization that we can do on here. For example, download limit. Let's say we wanted to limit someone from downloading, you know, not, not really sure why they need to download this video maybe more than five times, unless maybe they were trying to share it or do something like that, that we don't want. So we could have a limit. You know, we could put it to five, we could put it to, uh, you know, really whatever we want in here, one, but we're gonna keep it at five over here. We'll be able to save that. You could set expiration date as well. We'll set never expires, but you could have a, a time date on here. And here's just some of the details on here. Of course, you could also remove and uh, replace the file if there's an update. Um, notify all past purchasers. Again, let's say you, there's an update of this or a new bonus or something like that. You could have, uh, you basically let them know that there's an update, you know, so that's why you would use that function. But pretty straightforward, you know, it's going to be this per product. If you have one digital product, well, you're done. If you have 10 digital products, you go in and search them all over here and you'll do the same process where you attach a, a digital file to the product. And really, again, that's turning this product into, I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. It just it looks like any other product over here, but it's now a, a fully, you know, um, automated fulfillment of a digital item. They purchase it. They get the um, uh, checkout confirmation, they download the file. Well, they watch the video, they're super happy, there's no delay. This is the best way to offer digital products inside of Shopify. Now, when we come over here, we'd be able to see orders. Of course, again, we just installed this app, so we're not seeing anything here. All of your orders would pop up over here. You'd be able to see exactly what videos and you could manage their access. You could see kind of the details about the order over here and what they've gotten access to. It's kind of just a little confirmation page. And here is a review of all of your files inside here. Uh, you can give them great feedback. You know, I, I know you're gonna love this app. It's very, very easy to use. Take a look at some of the settings over here. These are really just some of the defaults. So uh, in terms of default limit, we saw this at five. We could change this on a per file basis like you saw. Require customers to log in. They're gonna have to create a Shopify um, account if they have one. Uh, if they don't have an account, this is not going to have any effect, obviously. Uh, we can come over here and pending and partially term uh, payment status. If you're using Shopify payments, this isn't a big deal. Uh, manually approve orders that are flagged as high risk. This is a nice one to prevent fraud. So Shopify has that built-in fraud protection. If it marks an order as high, this content or your content won't be delivered. And we can go through here and see lots of different ones. Display button on the thank you page. This is in terms of actually being able to access the content immediately. And we can customize that, access digital content or... I would something like download your videos now, right? Or we could say get instant access here, or whatever you want in terms of that button. That's gonna be shown on the thank you page. And we have this ability to kind of go through everything and take a look at all of these different things. We can create alerts. If there's an, uh, you know, kind of some type of abuse in terms of accessing a file a weird amount of times, cool different integrations again into not only these different video accounts, of course we have Shopify already, but we have Klaviyo as well, which is super important. Uh, different themes in terms of customizing different sections of this in terms of how it's going to look and selecting orders, showing product searches, all that great stuff. Uh, pretty easy to really get your brand in here. And uh, I think a cool thing about this is that you can have everything inside of Shopify and SkyPilot now where you don't need to have really any other platform. 
take a look at your usage as well. But really where you're gonna be at is products when you're setting up the product and orders when you're looking at all the orders. Otherwise, very, very easy to do here. Incredibly powerful. I like this as well. Let's say you're working with an influencer or someone like a VIP customer or a beta tester. You could actually give free order access. So all you gotta do is put in the email of the person that you're giving this to uh, for free and select that digital product in your product list. In this case, that was our Shopify print on demand training. And then they get access to it just like they would if they bought a product. So really cool. You keep everything maintained and automated in here. And uh, I like that a lot, again, because we're not needing to go outside a platform. We're not needing to um, you know, have them do anything uh, weird to get access. They'll just be treated like any other customer, just a free order. So a very powerful app and uh, really something that is going to uh, allow you to offer digital products. And let's say you're doing physical products. So you saw over here in the product list, I have a mix of physical and digital in here. So highly recommend that you do that. And if you're not offering any digital products, definitely look into or brainstorm some ways that you could add a digital component to your product, get SkyPilot into your store and you see just how easy it is to add another revenue stream into your business. So that was SkyPilot, incredibly easy to use, but also incredibly powerful. As you saw when we went over the shoulder, you're gonna be able to really integrate this into your Shopify store pretty easily and start to offer digital files, whether it's music or art or books or your course or really anything, no limits full security, enterprise level security as well. And that true frictionless experience when your customer purchases, that's why you're gonna use SkyPilot. Again, highly recommended. See the link directly below this video. Hope this helps you scale your business and I'll talk to you real soon.